Hello, this is John, host of the Prepared Mind channel, back with the weekly update of the coveted Horse's Ass Award, the Silver Sphincter. And this week it goes to none other than Jill Stein, presidential candidate for the Green Party. We might as well just say the Communist Party, because that's what they are. They are extreme socialists, and Jill Stein is their leader. And she's pulled some real shit this week, hasn't she? Oh yeah, she has. She has assumed that you, the American people, are fucking morons. And that we don't see through the transparent attempt on her part to get involved in the political process for grandstanding for her own name, to make herself some money. But what she's proven is that she is a tool. A tool is also a name that we use for penises, right? Right. She is a tool, but more importantly, she is the horse's ass. What a dipshit Jill Stein is. You know, this is the first time I believe the Green Party has had a loud voice in the presidential election, but what she's done is she has killed it. And I'm no friend of communism, I'm glad she did it. But she gets the coveted horse's ass award for doing what she could to basically take the Green Party out, to take them out of contention. right? But she's been all over the news calling for a recount of the votes in several states. These are states that only Hillary right, could benefit from having the election reversed. It is transparent. It is obvious what an ass she is. What a fool she is. And she has made herself that. Now, on the negative side, right? she's kept Americans riled up, those who are upset that Hillary lost. She's keeping them riled up by letting them believe that something's going to come out of this recount. That something could change. Those states weren't heavily contested. They went in Donald Trump's favor big time. And it's not because of uh, corruption which the Democrats are most noted for, or voter fraud, which the Democrats are most noted for. Right? It was because Trump had a better message. And Jill Stein's message did not resonate with the American people any more than uh, Gary, the libertarian, did. Mr. Aleppo himself. But as dumb, a big a dumbass as poor Gary is, right? Jill wins the coveted horse's ass she did such a fine job in my opinion that i put her picture on the thumbnail with their nose as close to the horse's ass as i dared get what are we to think of someone like jill stein right she is another political hack another political tool another political mouthpiece americans now see politicians for what they are and I think it's going to become more apparent as time goes on. right? Until shit hits the fan and the whole freaking machine comes to a grinding, crashing, steaming, smelly halt. We're going to start seeing these politicians for what they are. Well, they come and they go. And they'll bring up one political candidate or one political uh, uh, person. They'll bring them up. They'll exhaust them. They'll use them up. And then send them on their way, and then bring out another, and then another, and then another, to prove what dumbasses they are. But the horse's ass, oh yes, this prestigious prize doesn't go to every politician out there. Oh no, you have to do some really stupid shit to get this one as a politician. Because Americans do not hold politicians in high regard. Right? Even ones who we support as far as their um, political affiliation, you know, even though we, we, would, we choose one candidate over the other, we don't think either of them are very good. Right? We have with Donald Trump the opportunity to change this nation and hopefully avoid shit hitting the fan, the whole system coming to a crashing halt. That's the hope with Donald Trump. But all other politicians, they don't offer that kind of hope. All they offer is more tomfoolery. Right? 
more stupidity. But we as Americans have caught on more and more every day. More and more every day, Americans are waking up. Right? They're choosing the red pill. Right? They're choosing the red pill. Now, uh, speaking of the red pill, right, uh, from The Matrix, let's go with the red pill of MGTOW. What is going on with Jill Stein, this week's coveted winner? Well, she's obviously a political tool, a political hack. But why her? Why not Gary Johnson? Why not someone else? Why her? Well, I believe it's because she is a her. Because she's a woman, she'll be given a pass by the media. She won't be called to the carpet for being a complete buffoon. A dumbass. Right? That's the deal with her. That's my opinion, anyways. And that's why she gets the horse's ass. Because she thinks she's going to play this game with us, the American people. That because she's a woman and she's a political candidate, even though she's from a very minor party that got a lot of attention, we're supposed to give her a pass on something so obvious, so foolish and foolhardy, that we're just going to let it slide. I don't do that. If you want equal rights, you got it. Jill Stein, you're a dumb bitch, and we caught you. Everyone did. You're relying on us to give you a pass because you're a woman. And it's obvious the way you are behind Hillary Clinton, that it's more of a girl-girl thing. You think we don't see that? Girls looking out for the girls? You call for equal rights, and then you pull this type of shit on us. It is ridiculous. Once again, cementing you in eternal history as a recipient of the Horse's Ass Award. Now my prediction is, is that Jill isn't ever going to qualify for it again, again because she is going to go by the wayside. She's going to disappear from the pages of history. She won't even get an asterisk, a footnote. No one's going to remember her name in a few years except she was that woman from the Green Party who caused a bunch of political shit. And if shit hits the fan, of course, of course no one will remember Jill Stein. I can't remember any of her policy positions. The only thing I know is that she has silver hair. Silver hair. And she was a Green Party candidate. But, you know, the silver hair she has on her head reminds me much of the Silver Sphincter of the Horse's Ass Award. And maybe that prejudiced my decision to select her for this week's recipient. Right, The Silver Sphincter, the Horse's Ass Award, going to Jill Stein. What do you guys think, huh? You think she earned it? You know, what uh, What I like to do is always get other people's uh, opinions about who the biggest dumbass of the week is. Who's the horse's ass? What really upsets me about Jill Stein is she's not just a dumbass, not just a horse's ass. But she has continued to cause division in our nation. She has caused real pain and suffering to continue. She has caused millions of dollars to be wasted, to be contributed to her to be wasted in this effort to undermine our electoral process, our system of electing presidents and other officials. She has done nothing but raise doubt about our system and whether or not it is good or whether or not it is failing. We have enough trouble without women without people like Jill Stein. We have enough trouble. Why did we need this? Did we really need it? You know, there's a, a lot of speculation that Jill Stein, winner of the coveted horse's ass, has done nothing but enrich herself in this process. She's collected millions of dollars, and who knows how much of that has actually gone toward getting the recount. Was she being paid off and bribed the way the Clintons love to do? That's what I see Jill Stein doing. Enriching herself, knowing that this is her last hurrah politically, and not giving a shit about our nation. The nation that she said she wanted to lead, to lead as president. And yet she pulls this type of shit. Oh yes, Jill Stein, the horse's ass is yours. 
I want to thank all you guys for watching my videos, for subscribing. If you haven't s subscribed, do it now. I want to thank you for commenting, for making this channel a success. I really do. I want to thank you guys for everything you do, for commenting, for uh, sharing my videos with friends. The subscriptions have gone up like mad on this channel over the last couple of months because the message is spreading, not only from me, but from many, many others in the alternative media who, who want to present the news and opinion and commentary in new ways. And you guys have turned off the mainstream press, turned them off with the exception to check in and see what the fuck they're lying about now. That is, uh, that is what I want to thank you for. So uh, stay tuned. Next week we'll have another, I'm sure someone's going to step up and earn the silver sphincter off of the horse's ass. Somebody will. So until then, there's lots of other videos to watch and there's a lot going on. Be prepared. Use your brain because chance favors the prepared mind. Semper Fi.